Welcome back. I'm Pete, and you're watching the Custom Guard Channel. But we're gonna work out a Bobcat today. And it's gonna be awesome. Since this one's a Silverado, maybe you guys could just call me the, the Silverado Man. Hey guys, uh, got a little treat for the F-150, uh, I bought something on Amazon, uh, I bought an LED, uh, third brake light, let's, let's put this on, and I'll put a link for this down in the description, looks like it'll just plug right in, hopefully, yeah, I remember trying to get up there, is a little bit difficult, uh, let's see what, what we can do. So it did come with a new gasket too. I don't know what size it is. It does look like it'll fit. All right, guys, it's, it's showing that there's a there's a connector up there somewhere. I wonder if I got to pull the headliner down. And there's a connector in there. I don't know how I'm going to get back in. I think I got the gasket on there. I don't know if I can get it back into the clamp. Well, I got the door open. That's why the light's on. All right, guys, uh, I can't get the double Christmas tree fastener back in there, so let's see if I can pull down the headliner a little bit from the inside and get it back in there. All right, guys, I just pulled out them little coat hooks and then reached my hand up in there and I got to push back in without any damage. 
Let's get her bolted back in. Alright guys, uh, that's not too bad. Uh, I like this one. It's black instead of... Here, I'll get the other one. It's all blackened instead of uh, you know, clear like this one. Um, and it's all LEDs, so... Sometimes these bulbs get really hot and they'll melt this. Um, this truck had a problem in the, in the instrument cluster where every once in a while the dome light would come on and when the dome light comes on, these come on. So, um, I soldered every connection on the instrument cluster. There was a brake light on on the dash, and then the fuel gauge and the, no, it's the battery gauge. So the fuel gauge and the battery gauge would never work right. Sometimes, sometimes they would. After soldering, I don't know what, I tried to use a magnifying glass. You know, I could kind of see little cracks, but I just soldered every, every little resistor and capacitor and transistor that was on the back. And it hasn't acted up since, and that was a couple months ago. So let me see if I can find something to hold the brake light on. I want to see what that looks like. All right, there you have it. That That's kind of cool. Um... Yeah, so I was just doing a really short video for today, but I'll, I'll put a link down in the description for you guys. Uh, it's pretty cheap, uh, pretty cheap upgrade. I kind of like it. Uh, if it was darker in here, we could, uh, I could go turn off the lights, but let me go turn off the lights once. So I can't be sure if that's brighter or it's bright enough. Put it that way. Alright guys, so I'm going to go turn the lights back on. Alright guys, that, that should time out. Uh, it's on the dome light timer. And I, I think that's how you turn it on too. You turn the dome lights on and then that turns on. So, a lot of guys will take the bulbs out and just leave them out. But, I kind of I kind of like it, so... Yeah, there it goes. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna try to put this video together and uh, put a link down there. Uh, so, hope you like it. Uh, thanks for watching, and you catch me next time.